Hey guys, Viggo Man here and welcome back to another video or episode, whatever you want to call it, from Akan. Today we are back, we are going to expand this beautiful little village that we've been working on. And I'm super inspired for this project and I just love the vibe that we have created here. I think everything just fits so nicely together and everything feels so alive. Um, when it comes to the path, how they work, the layering of the grass blocks with bushes, plants, even these torches, they are beautiful, the trees, I think everything is really working in our favor here and especially like with the farms that we have here, the potatoes here, uh, the wheat field right here and today we're going to add another field or another farm to this place. It's going to be over a here. It's going to be a cornfield. Uh, corn is, or well, if you didn't know, this is based on the Inca style, the Inca architecture. And corn is native to America. So it makes sense to have some corn here, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, I am no professor when it comes to like where stuff grows. I, I don't really know too much about that. Uh, I have a degree in biology, that is pretty much it, or not a degree at all, I just have studied biology for two years. So I don't know too much about this, but I do like building it, so let's just do that. Um, the farm is going to be here, and I think uh, what we're going to do is, to begin with the corn, maybe we'll do more later, uh, but I think the corn is going to be up here and down here, and possibly on a second level, which is going to like go around here and connect up with a mountain here. So I want to do the shape of this first uh, and then maybe we'll have another farm in the valley here somehow. Uh, but I think, what do we have? Six blocks there? So I think if we go like six more blocks in this direction like so and then just kind of keep that. I want to try to keep the lines kind of straight in a way. So that is six more blocks. Because it looks better from above. So here you can see we have like 45 degree and then, I don't know, 22 and a half degree, I guess. And then, yeah. So from above, it it's kind of hard to see. But you can see it more here, the way the lines work. So I, I think just creating some lines to really break up the landscape and really make it look artificial. Make it look like it's built by man and not by nature. I think that is a way to really make these farms here pop instead of making them like organic and follow the shapes too much of the landscape. So um, that's what we're going to try to do here. So we have a tree there and a tree more here. That's going to be another six of them. Um, but also I want to make sure that we follow the landscape in a little way as well. Kind of finding a nice mix uh, or combination between um, straight lines man-made structures and following the landscape, following the nature um, is what I'm trying to do here. So we got that and I think that should be good. So what I want to do is actually uh, to fill 35 and probably going to use one because that's my favorite one <laughs> and then 30 and probably like two like that. Filling all of that in um, and then I think I, I just want to use the orange here so that we later can just use Whirl it to change the, the ground palette here. So uh, we're gonna do that and then just work a little bit with that here. So that is, uh, yeah, I guess that works. Um, then I wanna do the same here. Probably I can use this Whirl it here. A little bit. Um, replace two and three with 35, one. Oh. Ah, there we go. Um, more or less. And then. Just do that. So we have a little bit of the landscape coming through here. And maybe if we can remove some of that and make it more rock like. Uh, change some of the blocks to stone to make it feel like. Um, a much harder task to, to flat out because not like dirt and grass and stuff is kind of simple to to break and, and flat out in a way so uh, if we can then kind of make this out of stone more or less and more like a rocky shape 
it would make more sense that it didn't flat this part so I think if we can do something like that maybe like raise it up a little bit of course we can use some more uh, different blocks to shape it up but just creating more and more stone here to uh, indicate that this is like bedrock this is the mountain sticking up here and not just uh, some sediments of grass that you simply could have removed with just a shovel and some time so uh, if we do something like that um, yeah I think that should work and then we can add in some slabs here and some vertical slabs and probably even stairs so let's get that as well in here so we can do that and something like this and then do something similar here and then maybe connect that up to about here that should be good because now we have kind of this lines looking that uh, the water might have flown over this land here and creating this lines of dirt and left some sediments behind which I like just create some contrast and gives the landscape a little bit more of a character in a way so let's do that and yeah like that I guess that works really works um, maybe something like that and then we can go over and flat this out using the layers and put some landscapes plants and stuff in here as well but let's just do this for now like that and then like that and let me just use a slab here because why not and then just a little bit of shaping here I don't want to spend too much time uh, especially on video because that is stuff that just takes ages to do and I can do that without you guys, no problem. So uh, I think that should be good. And I just wanna, just because I can, just add some of the la landscape or plants, I guess, um, that we have going here. Uh, I've decided to go for uh, kind of a purple-ish um, color palette with uh, the flowers and stuff. So we're going to do something like this here and just mostly like, purple colors to to make this area pop a little bit extra so yeah we do oops okay uh where, where's the full block is this this is a full block all right uh, and then this one is a full block and we can do some here yeah you know the drill i'm just spamming these things all over the place Yeah. Again, don't want to spend too much time on this because that is stuff I simply can do off camera just spend some time on. But you get a drill here. Um, kind of get the landscape here. Uh, and then some things we might want to do is just add in a little bit of mossy stone here to make it feel overgrown and stuff. After all, it, the mountains are old. So we can bring in some of that. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, let's move on here. Um, I'm gonna take this block here and place it there. Um, and yeah, just so I have these and remove all that and probably just manually place in all of um, all of the wool here, so we can uh, use the roll it later to replace that with the, the this block, the soil block. Um, yeah, because that has like a nice little texture to it. So I'm gonna do this uh, and probably not continue way too much over here uh, because it's so small and it's kind of not efficient enough. Um, might though wanna kind of merge it a little bit more into the landscape here. Something like that, yes. All right, uh, and then what I wanna do here is to um, to have the corn here grow in rows so like this 
and then I think we might be able to like turn it as we go so that up here it's um, you know it's a uh, 45 degree angle so we uh, yeah we do something like that uh, and then you know it, it's not necessary to do it here but I'm gonna just something like that I don't know but then from here on you know you can continue the line but it's it's this shape here instead um, and then that might co like create a nice look from above like an aerial view of this place and on the map and stuff like that so let's see how that works we do that and that you need to be orange perfect and then... so from above now okay it's ugly with the colors and stuff but it kind of makes you uh, or gives you an idea of how it's going to or what it's going to look like uh, actually over here though um, the path is going to go through here so maybe just gonna leave some of this be grass so we have something to work on later but the path is going to go through here and then maybe have like a continue this one like curve it around and let it follow the landscape so that we can like have farms on this flat line here more or less so um, yeah because realistically you wouldn't be wasting flat land um, if you or yeah you wouldn't be wasting flat lands um, in an area like this so you will be using all the flat land you have accessible and then maybe flat out some of the less flat lands to get some extra pieces of land to farm so just kind of don't want to uh, waste this place here this is perfect perfect farmland so definitely gonna um, use some farms here as well and then also have this platform things and then here it's gonna be just straight because this is six blocks um, yeah go expand every six blocks so I don't think it's necessary to to really do it like a I don't know how to explain this but like six blocks and then in six blocks kind of thing here because it's pretty much just straight so let's just do that uh, and it's probably gonna look less awkward uh, on the map and from above and, and create some more beautiful lines here so let's do that so just bring these over like so uh, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the world of, it, of this here because it's kind of simple and it's so efficient when building farms because you know farm build well building farms especially in creative in survival it's it's a necessity but when you're building it here it's just basically spamming the same blocks over and over and over again and it's just yeah waste of time in my opinion so just using world of it for every piece that you can and then go in after and then like touch it with your little piece of magic to to give it an extra extra more realistic in character because um, I, I think that is important if you want to have a unique little place you want to make sure that it's not it doesn't feel like it's been world edited you want to make it feel like it's actually been been built by uh, by people and that it's it has some character and personality to it so we're gonna do this here and there we go and then what we're going to do is just to go in some places and just place a few blocks that is going to stick up a little bit to break up the skyline so it doesn't feel too flat. So just a few like this. Uh, it doesn't matter how you do it but just get a few in there. Uh, same here, just a few blocks here and there. Because all of this is eventually going to be like just corn so it's um, yeah up here uh, not sure if I want to do that here um, but let's just do it like that for now and then let's see what is this is going to be plus one and then position two is then going to be all the way down here I think and then tool info like this oh not double slash just simple slash uh, and then you are going to be pointing that direction so it's replace 35 1 1 with 1 4 2 3 13 
and that creates a nice spoil block right there, um, which I can live with. And then it's this one here, and then it's just replace. Uh, what's the idea of this one? 3514, okay. Replace 3514 with 1592. Yes. And that works. How does that look from above? That's pretty nice right there. Um, yeah, definitely works here. Then what I can do, and what I like to do, is to go around and just place a few of these to make it uh, feel less straight and break up some of the lines here. Uh, you can also go in and place like stair here and there, just really break it up. But if you do something like that, I think I've done that here already, yes I have. So that is looking pretty sweet, I like that. Uh, very nice and man-made, but still doesn't feel too perfect. Uh, I think the grass is going to grow more in here than it's currently doing. So if we... Uh, something like that. And then there will be like birds and stuff. I don't know, maybe pigeons live here? I don't know. And uh, are trying to eat some of the corn here, you know. Um, yeah, but that's pretty nice. I like this. I like the vibe of it. Especially when you kind of see all of it in one picture. But then what we're going to do is to just expand on, on this here. And probably um, this is going to go like this. So it's probably going to be something like that. Um, and, and then connect up here. This is going to be all flat. But then it's going to be mainly just path. So it's going to follow, follow this here and up on this uh, little mountain top here. And then up around here to another house in the back here. And that is going to be, yeah, two more houses and we're done with all the houses here, I think. Unless we want to expand more. Uh, it's really up to you guys what you think uh, and how, yeah, how it turns out and stuff. So the path is going to just wrap around here, follow this little thing and move up here. I'm not going to do too much of that right now, but you get the drill here, it's moving along. Um, we can smooth some of this out here, same with the grass. Like this. Um, just smooth this out as well. Here. That's the problem. Once you start layering like this, you, you, you can't really stop with it because then it's going to look weird. So, um, yeah, don't start layering if you don't have time for it because it really takes a lot of time to get it right. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to do too much more there but what I want to do is to find some of these rocks that we can place here to uh, to break some of the lines here a little bit as well but that looks pretty sweet right there uh, same goes for here yes that's a nice big boulder right there um, so like that and maybe a little bush here Yeah, I think that's good. Any full blocks? Yeah, that's a full block. So, um, like that, and then probably have this block here, or maybe even like coarse dirt block, just to transition between the farm and the path. How do you look? You don't really connect too nicely up with this, so. No, that's not cool. Um, can you go like that then? I don't know. Yeah, that kind of that, that looks kind of nice. So I guess we can use that here as well in a little ways. Uh, oh no, um, <laughs> it's kind of tricky work with these connected textures and stuff. Then 
And right here probably just spam in a little bit of plants and stuff like that to give it uh, some vibes and stuff. And then this one here. Yeah. And are we good? I think we're good guys. We kind of reached the episode marker here from my part, so don't want to start anything new. But if there's like small things we can work on, let's see if there is any. I feel like what we can do is to go back in and add. Okay, how does that look? No, that's not nice. But uh, maybe like some thick mud and just. It feels a little plain in a way. So we're gonna go back in with that. Maybe bring in some the sandstone natural rock and then some some um, the dead bushes stuff. And uh, so if we, we just do a little bit of this to break it up to make it feel uh, less man or less I don't know world painted in a way. Um, I think that just makes a lot of sense. So these boulders here are not going to be like rocks, it's just going to be dirt that is uh, plowed a little bit and uh, not just straight dirt because dirt usually isn't as straight as these lines you see here. So, so just placing a few of these really, uh, yeah, that, oh, that actually adds so much to it. So uh, probably something I'm going to do off camera and stuff, not to waste too much time, but just to get an idea. Um, place a little bit of that in the episode as well try not to get those big boulders because they look bad but just a little bit really helps with the look of the place to uh, to break it up so yeah something like that that's one a little bit too big one and, and yeah perfect all right so uh, thank you so much for watching guys i really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been vigo man now i'm out